Hey guys, Nurse Alyssa here. Today we're going to talk about Actazorb, but first if you could hit a like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. So let's get started. So Actazorb is a dressing that contains activated charcoal and that charcoal is impregnated with silver. Um, and then it's all encased in a nylon sleeve. So the activated charcoal traps the bacteria um, which is then killed by the silver. Um, so the silver kills the bacteria and then absorbs any bacteria toxins to decrease odor of the wound. So um, if somebody's sitting next to you, you can't smell the odorous wound. So we would use this dressing uh, for odorous wounds resulting from infection, bacterial contamination, or malignancy. Um, you're going to first ensure that you know why the wound has an odor because you want to uh, correct the underlying issue first. Um, so what is actually causing the smell? So if it's infection, um, making sure that they're on an antibiotic. Um, if it's malignant, obviously we're not going to be able to correct that, but we need to know the etiology of the wound before placing um, the Actazorb on the wound. Um, and we are not going to use it for clients who have a sensitivity or allergy to charcoal or silver. And we're not gonna cut this dressing. Uh, we have to make sure that it's completely sealed. Um, that's how it's going to work properly and keep in the odor um, in, in the dressing itself. So how we use Actazorb is you're first going to clean the wound. Um, normally I would use normal saline. Um, you're going to flush the wound of any debris and the peri wound. You're then going to dry the peri wound. Then you're going to choose the appropriate size um, Actazorb dressing uh, because you do not want to cut the Actazorb. So um, you're, you're going to apply it dry onto the wound and then you're going to use an appropriate cover dressing. So you're going to have the Actazorb and then you're going to be putting a dressing over top to maintain a moisture balance um, just to collect any exudate coming off the wound. To remove the Actazorb, you wanna use forceps to gently remove it from the wound base. Now, if you are having problems and it is a little sticky, you're going to soak it with normal saline um, and just leave it for a few seconds and it should lift off easily. If you are having that problem where it is getting stuck on the dressing changes, you're going to wanna to put a non-adherent uh, contact layer, um, such as Adaptic, um, down so then it can be removed easier because you don't want to uh, wreck the wound base that you're trying to heal. Um, so then the frequency of the dressing changes, um, so it can be left up to seven days, but the more exudate you have, the sooner you'll have to change it. As soon as the dressing is no longer um, managing the odor, that's when you want to change it. Or if your outer dressing gets saturated, you're going to want to change it. The expected outcome of Actazorb is that it's managing the odor of the wound. Um, sometimes you have malignant wounds or very infected wounds and they, they can get quite smelly. Um, so we want to make sure that we're managing that um, so it's not bugging the patient um, or they don't feel self-conscious about the, the odor of the wound. So that's all I have for this video. I'll catch you next time.